there what's up everybody this is your nutritionist on the go Kaval Deep Singh Ochla from Eero Diet Nutrition and I'm back with another video in this video we are going to discuss about lipid profile testing that we usually get done to check our triglyceride levels and our cholesterol levels and our LDL, VLDL and HDL levels. So people who suffer from a heart disease, a cardiovascular disease, this is a general assumption of what type and what consistency of your blood is. Is your blood too thick? Is your blood having too much of triglycerides? Are there any good and bad components in this blood? So this test is usually done. So before starting the video, this is our fourth video in the cardiovascular disease playlist series if you have not yet watched the previous three videos you definitely need to check them out do hit the subscribe button on my channel and hit the notification bell icon also because whenever I have this knowledgeful idea you don't miss a beat so guys let's focus on the what is in our lipid profile panel what are the different components and what do they state so guys as you have seen we have all these different components that are usually in your lipid profile panel. There are some things like total cholesterol and HDL to LDL ratio. Uh, these things I have not included because if these numbers are corrected, the ratios and the percentages, they automatically balance up. So these are the main components which we have to discuss. So let's start. Before moving further, let's make clear. Cholesterol, we have discussed it already what cholesterol does in our body and why cholesterol is important for us so if you have not watched the cholesterol video do go and watch it okay so normal range of a cholesterol in a lipid profile panel in uh, our human blood is 130 to 150 mg per dl so this is the normal range what will happen if it is above the normal range that means that you might have some underlying causes which have elevated your cholesterol level. So we gotta check on your lifestyle, we gotta check on your diet also. So next comes is the lipoproteins. Okay, lipoproteins are HDL, LDL, which is of two type, VLDL. Okay, these are lipoproteins. Now, a lot of misconception has been uh, created in terms of these lipoproteins that HDL is a good one and LDL is a bad cholesterol, HDL is a good cholesterol. So we need to clear some air as we go along with these. So first of all, let's see what an HDL is. First of all, it is not HDL cholesterol. Okay, it is high density lipoprotein that means a combination of lipids and proteins it's a lipoprotein it is basically a carrier carrier for what it is a carrier for cholesterol hdl particles carry cholesterol so where is this hdl made it is made in our liver okay so that's clear okay hdl is made by our own body in our own liver what does it do transports cholesterol okay that's another good thing we need cholesterol for our living we need cholesterol for survival and hdl helps us transport cholesterol it is a vehicle in which the cholesterol molecules sit inside and they travel okay it's like an ola or uber for the cholesterol molecules so where does it transfer it transfers from cells to liver that means the cholesterol that is present in the cells is being brought back by this Uber or Ola that is called HDL. Moving on to next is LDL, low density lipoprotein. Again, guys, this is not LDL cholesterol. It should never be said like that because LDL is just a transporter of cholesterol. So imagine, imagine your name is Raj and you travel by Ola. So what are we going to call you? Rajola? No, we are not going to call you Rajola. Your name is Raj and Ola is just your vehicle from one place to another to commute. That's it. So your names can't be binded together. Okay, you, you cannot be said as Ola, Raj or Rajola. Okay, so let me be clear on this one. LDL is a lipoprotein made again in our liver. Okay, so that's two in a row transports cholesterol and triglycerides okay so hdl also transports cholesterol ldl also transports cholesterol but it also transports triglycerides okay from liver to the cells okay now this is something different so hdl took the cholesterol back from the cells to our liver 
and LDL is taking cholesterol and triglycerides from our liver to each and every cell of our body. So LDL is also a transport vehicle. So these LDLs are of two basic types, a normal low density lipoprotein and a small dense low density lipoprotein. Okay, so one particle is more dense than the other. Okay, it's a kind of a fluffy nature, we'll not go too deep into it. So maiden liver takes cholesterol and triglycerides from the liver to rest of the body. So next comes the next very important lipoprotein that is VLDL which is very low density lipoprotein. So what I can tell you is high density, low density and very low density. This is basically the density. So the lower the density of uh, a particle, uh, the more fluffier it gets. Okay, so the size of the particle actually increases. HDL is a comparatively smaller particle than LDL and VLDL, but it is more dense. Okay, the, the molecules are more tightly packed in it. So very low density lipoproteins are also made in your liver. That's three for three. All the apoproteins, all the lipoproteins are made in your liver. Okay, what does it do? It transports triglycerides and some cholesterol. Where does it take? From liver to all the cells of your body. Wait a minute. LDL also does the same thing, but no. Cholesterol is the priority and triglycerides are secondary, but in case of VLDL, triglycerides are the priority and cholesterol is secondary. But they both do the same thing. They carry these lipids the fatty acids from liver to the rest of our body. So this is their function. HDL, LDL and VLDL, they all are lipid molecules that carry other fatty acids because these triglycerides and these cholesterols, they are oily particles and they do not mix with our blood. Oil and water does not mix. Similarly, oil and blood does not mix. So they need to attach to a molecule that can freely travel in our bloodstream. So this is where these come. So all three of them are made in liver. They basically transport a fatty acid molecule from one place to another, mostly from liver to cells and from cells to liver. So where does this notion comes from that this particular apoprotein or lipoprotein is good or bad? Maybe, maybe it is because the HDL brings back cholesterol to the liver for discarding or reusage. And LDL and VLDL, they take away the cholesterol and triglycerides to different parts of body. So maybe they just said that if you are transporting more fats into the cells of your body, maybe it is a bad carrier. So just label it the bad cholesterol. So imagine that you frequently travel to from Punjab to Delhi and you usually take the straight transportation bus. So you go from Punjab to Delhi in a Punjab roadways, you come from uh, Delhi in, uh, to Punjab in a Delhi roadways. So how does one transportation bus is a good and the other is a bad, whereas both of them are important for the functioning of your body. So guys, this is a huge misconception. All the three apoproteins are made in liver, made by our own body and used to transport fatty molecules from liver to cells or from cells to liver. Okay, one last thing that I want to show you guys is what about triglycerides? Okay, triglycerides are also made in liver. Okay, but triglycerides are not apoproteins or lipoproteins like the above said. Triglycerides is a stored form of energy. Okay, when you eat so much of sugar energy, when you eat so much of carbohydrate energy, or in any case, you have a surplus of glucose in your blood. Maybe it is coming from sugars or proteins or fats, whatever the case is. If you are having a surplus of glucose in your bloodstream, your body will take all that excess glucose and convert it into triglycerides and put it in the bloodstream so that it can be used later. Okay, so this is the story of triglycerides. So triglycerides are also made by the liver and they are made from sugars, refined carbs, fructose, junk food, all the sweet candies, sweet sodas, and anything sugary that you drink or eat. Okay, so a surplus of sugar intake will increase the number of triglycerides 
If the number of triglycerides go up, number of very low density lipoproteins will also go up because if there is abundant triglycerides, you need more BLDL. If the passengers coming from city A to B are more, then you need more trains and buses who can take these passengers from A to B. Okay? Similarly, these triglycerides also have some effect on LDL, but triglycerides don't have an effect on HDL because HDL only transports cholesterol okay so so if you want to balance out your lipo lipoproteins if you have done a recently lipid profile panel and you had some malfunctioning in your system noted how to correct it if you are high on cholesterol there is an underlying cause okay we have to eliminate that cause if you are high on hdl which is a good thing it doesn't matter if you're high on ldl now whenever ldl number is discussed both type of LDLs are considered combined. Okay, so we don't differentiate between both the normal LDL particle or the slow density LDL particle. And if the VLDL number is high, you need to cut back on sugars. Okay, you need to cut back on sugars. And if you are having surplus of triglycerides, you have to cut back on sugars. Okay, so eating surplus amount of refined carbs and sugars will increase the thickness of your blood by increasing the number of triglycerides. So guys, I think you have understood my point. The fats in your blood are coming from your lifestyle and dietary choices. If you are taking too much of carbohydrates, refined carbohydrates, glucose and sugary stuff and junk food and even refined oils, this can drastically damage your body and the result can be seen on a lipid profile test. So in the next video, now we are going to discuss all these factors that actually promote the cardiovascular disease risk okay some things which do not do that and something see now we have discussed ldl and hdl are just carriers so all those advertisement products that you have been seeing till now okay they have been misleading us claiming that this increases the good cholesterol this decreases the bad cholesterol there is no such thing as good or bad cholesterol it's hdl it's LDL and it's VLDL. So guys, if you like this video and you want to keep getting these knowledge bombs, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, whichever social media platform you prefer. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube, hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of the updates. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, you take care.